Google and Apple have been releasing community mobility reports and have been making that data available to the public. So this is phenomenal. This is great for us to get to see what we are all doing. These mobility reports are basically how we are moving around uh, in, in different in under different lenses. Uh, post, uh, pre and post coronavirus. So very interesting data. They're making that available to anybody. So anybody in the public can download them. Big, big thanks. And they, the data is updated daily. So you need to get a new uh, report every day and I'll show you where to get the data and I will uh, do, do some charting in Python, uh, some simple investigation, but hopefully it will, you know, uh, inspire you to dig a lot deeper into this data. So welcome to the ViralML show. My name is Manuel Amunategui. Please sign up for my newsletter at ViralML, V-I-R-A-L-M-L.com. It's in the upper left. Uh, you'll know only get my newsletter, uh, updates on my videos, but also deals on my classes. And I'll talk about that in a bit. Uh, all the code you need uh, is available. It's a link inside the description of the video. It's a Jupyter Notebook extract and HTML Jupyter Notebook, Notebook extract, which you have everything you need. Just simply, you know, uh, download the data and open a new notebook uh, on your um, uh, on your computer and cut and paste each line is the best way to learn. So um, there are two reports we're going to look at. One is from Google. It's called COVID-19 Community Mobility Reports. You can find it at Google com for slash COVID-19 for slash mobility. And they offer five, uh, six features. Uh, they offer the six features are retail and recreation, grocery and pharmacy, parks, transit stations, workplaces, residential. So basically six interesting features. And if you scroll down, there's a blue button. That's how you click on that and you download that uh, data set on your local machine. Do that every day because the data changes. And the other one is from Apple and it's called mobility trends report and they offer three uh, features walking uh, driving and transit also very interesting and here it says you know um, just to emphasize this comes from their mapping data so whenever you use uh, apple maps google maps they keep uh, kind of a breadcrumb of uh, as as an aggregate so uh, it's very important they notice that they, they mentioned that if this is anonymized data there's no way of getting it back down to the individual or finding out who's going who's who going where right so this is all aggregate at a large level it can be at the cities state or uh, country level if the data is present. So let's get started here. Um, I am going to, uh, so I downloaded the, the, the data. So we'll start with Google. As you can see, uh, you can uh, you can download it directly from the uh, the URL. That means you don't have to download it to your local machine, which makes things a little easier, especially if you want to get fresh data every time, or at least get the latest data every time you run it. So that's what I did here. I'm passing the uh, URL to a pandas, so pandas.read underscore CSV, and assign it to gmr underscore df. And we take a look at the data by calling head. And you see we have, uh, of interest, we have the country region, Subregion one, subregion two, a date, and we have the series of categories which I mentioned. We have uh, retail and recreation, grocery and pharmacy, uh, parks, train stations, workplaces, residential, and that's the data that we're going to look at. So, um, I kind of you know, I'm pulling them out because I'm going to need we're going to need these because they're column based, right? So one column is one column represents one category. So we're going to loop through each category, through each column to plot them, to understand uh, who's doing what, when, and where. So um, here are the, I pulled, I made a, um, a variable called categories underscore Google underscore mobility. It's going to allow, uh, help us to do the loop. And we're going to start, uh, you have to pick somewhere. So I'm going to choose Italy. I'm going to choose the Lombardy region. So that was a second area that was a hard, hard hit, a hit after uh, China, after Wuhan and China. And uh, the this is probably the most transparent data we have. Very accurate, very transparent. It's a smaller country. So the data is very interesting to check out. So I am simply taking a subset of that data. So I'm saying, give me GMR underscore DF. That is the country region is Italy. And the subregion is Lombardy. It was north of Italy. That's where it started. So that's what we want to look at. Uh, so now I have a subset of my data and I'm going to loop through each one of the categories one by one and simply plot them. And I'm also going to plot in a vertical line in Matplotlib where uh, when the stay at home uh, order was given. And in this case, in Italy, uh, it was given uh, on the 3rd of uh, the, the, the 10th of March. So here we see retail and recreation. So clearly how these charts work is you have a baseline at zero. Baseline meaning is the, the normal use the normal use of, of uh, normal patterns. So most of the time it kind of oscillates around that zero line. Here we clearly see as of the 22nd uh, of, this, of February, it starts going down into the negative territory. So abnormal behavior. So even before they decreed the stay at home order, people were starting to uh, 
stop doing retail and recreation activities. And once the, uh, the, the order was given, it kept on going down. So it's almost like this, you, have, you have the linear drop where, you know, uh, people just kept on doing it regardless. And here we have the current behavior, which is very low, very abnormal, uh, very far from that zero, zero baseline. And we see some little, you know, some little drops here for weekends, uh, some cyclical drops. But overall, people are not doing retail recreation in, in, in Italy, in the Lombardy region. Uh, grocery and pharmacy, same thing. We had this is very interesting. You have a, a peak here around February 22nd. Probably people were getting sick, didn't know what it was the flu, coughs, or whatever. They were going to their pharmacies. Um, and eventually, when the news started coming out that this was contagious, uh, you know, you need to stay out of the public, people stopped going to grocery stores and pharmacies. The order is given here. You clearly see after the order was given, it starts going down. We do see, uh, you know, these little peaks during uh, these little drops during the weekend. Uh, the uh, parks, this is also very interesting. We see the usage of the park here you know, oscillating around the, the baseline here. So, you know, big, uh, big oscillations. Order is given, it um, immediately goes down. Uh, train stations, transit stations, same thing. It goes down. This is, you're going to see all the transit stations are going to be very, uh, very low, especially in big cities because the, cities, the city controls the transit station. So, you know, they can throttle that. Uh, workplaces, same thing. People stopped going to the workplace around December 22nd, kind of flatlined until the order was given and then it flatlined a lot lower. Uh, residential is opposite. We don't want people to go less of something. We want people to go more of something. We want them to stay at home. So here we see normal baseline behavior around zero. It starts getting into the positive ter territory around December, uh, sorry, February 22nd. Again, it's baseline. And after the order to stay at home was given, a huge uh, spark up bound and most more like everybody's at home staying at home except on weekends people are you know going out for some fresh air but overall people are at home and this is clearly reflected in this in this chart so this, this was a Lombardy Italy let's look at the US so in the US um, doing the country region another subset but just for the United States and we see clearly right we have a uh, country region has the the country and sub region has the states and even sub region too you may even have some you know at, at, at the counties at the lower level so what I'm doing here is I'm saying uh, for every time there is a, not a number, we know it's a state. So you'll have a country, nan, nan, meaning this is the overall data for the United States. If you have a country and a state and a nan, that means it's the overall country, not numbers for that state. That's what we want. So I'm saying here, give me the state where um, we have a country, but the subregion 2 is a nan, meaning this is data for the overall state. That's what we want. I'm grouping it by the state, and I'm getting the last value, meaning the, the, the last entry, and we are then going to group them by minimum and maximum for, for, for all the states. And we're going to pull for each category, we're going to pull which is a state that's doing the best and which is a state that's doing the worst for that particular category. And you could also do different ways. Instead of doing the last, you could do the mean. There's definitely, definitely different ways of slicing and dicing this. Same deal. We're looping them through them all and we're going to plot them. So here we have retail and recreation. We see the best state, meaning the one that's going to the least least doing the least retail and recreation we have washington dc the worst we have arkansas but what's interesting is they're both under the baseline they're both under zero so sure arkansas is not doing as good as the rest but they're still you know doing a lot less because they're clearly underneath that zero baseline that's what we want to see grocery and pharmacy we see uh this is interesting as well we see uh, hawaii is doing the the best and the worst is iowa and here we see this peak of going to grocery stores and the uh pharmacies clearly there was a panic uh, people were saying oh, we're going to shut down the state uh, uh people ran to the stores like we all did i did too to get all sorts of supplies and toilet paper as well and you clearly see though they are kind of very close iowa is close to the baseline while uh um, hawaii is doing great they're staying at home the parks, that's just interesting, parks and uh, parks for, um, we see the best in parks in terms of parks is Hawaii, which is hard because Hawaii is all about their parks. They clearly stopped going. Uh, Kansas, on the other hand, seems to be still going to the parks. They're above, clearly above their baseline. Uh, best and worst of transit stations, we see uh, the worst is Wyoming and the best is Hawaii. They must close the bus stations or whatever they have, the train stations. Here we have the uh, workplaces, the same thing. Everybody's staying at home. The worst is Nevada. The, be the best is Nevada. And the worst is Arkansas. And this is interesting, the residential. The residential, again, is the opposite. We want to see positive numbers. The, uh, the, the worst is California, meaning it's the best. I didn't change the label. It should say best. They are the ones who are staying at home the most. And the worst is Alabama. They are the ones staying at home the least, according to, to, the, to the last number. 
So Google Trends, I wanted to bring Google Trends. We all love Google Trends, as you know, as Google Trends, is trends.google.com. You put uh, any any topic you are interested in and see what people are browsing, who's uh, asking that same question, and you can you can narrow it down by any place or town in the world. So it's really powerful, and you can download that data. So that's exactly what I did. I downloaded uh, parks uh, parks in Hawaii, so Hawaii parks. That's what I, the term I looked for. And in and, and yellow is the search patterns. As you can see, people are searching. Uh, you know, parks in Hawaii is a big deal. People, so, you know, the people go there to visit, the, you know, Hawaii and, and it's beautiful parks. It's nature. So they're obviously searching it. What's interesting is right around the, the crisis, people started searching it about it a lot more. They're like, oh, my God, can we still go to the parks? Is it dangerous to go to the parks? Clearly, people started looking at it. And in Hawaii, the stay-at-home order was given on, where is the date here? Was given on... Um, the third, the 23rd of March, as you can see here, 23rd of March, it kind of stopped. It kind of tapered. People said, okay, we're not supposed to go to parks. Let's stop looking parks up. And clearly you can see their utilization from the mobility report goes down, which coincides with Google Trends. So you can definitely use Google Trends to get even more intelligence uh, with these mobility maps just to kind of, you know, um, look at things from different angles or get supporting evidence for an idea you have. Okay, so let's move to the uh, Apple Mobility Reports. So the Apple Mobility Reports, you actually have, ha actually have to download it manually. I couldn't find a, a direct link. So, uh, you know, here, uh, like I sh you just scroll down when you get to uh, apple.com, uh, COVID-19 Mobility, scroll down, and there it is, that blue button. Uh, download that to your local machine, bring it in, and load it in. The data is also formatted in a different way. Uh, dates are columns, and categories are rows. So here you have country, region, Albania, and driving, and the time series is this way. So we have to access the data a bit differently. It's no big deal. Uh, let's look at New York City. Uh, the categories we have is our driving, transit, and walking. And uh, I'm simply going to loop through each. Uh, I'm, I'm doing a subset like we did before for New York City, and I'm going to loop through each one of the, uh, the rows that are returned for each of the three categories, and you get the time series. So um, the first one is driving. We clearly see nice cyclical nature, right? There is the week versus the weekend driving, clearly. And it starts dropping before the stay-at-home order was given on 23rd, 22nd of uh, March. Clearly, driving drops. And then we still see, there's still a little, the cyclical nature is still there, which is funny, uh, but uh, clearly a lot less than we see here. Um, then we have uh, the transit. Transit, again, very cyclical drops and then practically gone and that's a lot easier to control just because they they probably throttle throttle the subways they throttle the buses so it's easier for you know the city to control that and then we have a walking again very interesting very cyclical um nature of walking it drops and here we have you know new yorkers who are barely walking anymore so i thought that was interesting i also brought in barcelona to see uh, you know uh, spain where, where i'm living here we clearly see um the driving you know, again, cyclical, just like in New York. It drops also before the stay-at-home order, which was given on the 14th of March. Um, and look at that. It, this is a big deal in Spain because they were giving tickets, expensive tickets. So people really, they would say, if this is more than three or four people in a car, you know, you get a ticket. If you're trying to go on a Friday or a Saturday morning, you know, it's obviously you're going to go, you know, for a weekend or something, you get a ticket. So people really stopped uh, driving. Uh, Barcelona Transit, this is interesting. This is the buses, the subways huge spike so this is a kind of a normal behavior huge spike in this area from the february 15th where there's actually a, 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 a lot of religious holidays and all sorts of activities outdoor activities and parks in um, in the city so everybody was out and about which is a bit unfortunate because it was right around a time when you shouldn't be out and about huge amount of people out there and um the stay-at-home order completely stopped right so this is really night and day huge holiday festivities and it just dried up completely uh, and walking, same thing. Just like in New York, you see very cyclical. People like to walk, you know, during the weekends. It dropped and we, we kind of stopped because they're actually even giving tickets to people who are walking outside. So there you have it, right? So uh, again, the uh, the Google report is at google.com for slash COVID-19 for slash mobility. And, you know, you can download it with the button or directly through uh, the, H the URL. And you also have the Apple one, uh, which is at apple.com for slash COVID-19 for slash mobility. And same thing, you can download it here with the blue button. Uh, all the code you need to explore there is there. I think it's really fascinating. They're going to keep this as long as they think it's, it's important uh, to track how we're doing uh, mobility-wise and how we're doing with, with the virus. Once that goes away, unfortunately, this data may disappear. Um, uh, if you're interested in this kind of uh, data, I like to plug in my, uh, my classes. Uh, hit the classes button. 
and uh, right now there's a 50% sale uh, because of uh, we're all stuck at home. It's a time to study. And I have four tracks. I would recommend uh, the machine learning track or the or any of the entrepreneur tracks where we look at data. We also port a lot of that data to the web. I'm a big believer in taking the Jupyter Notebook and porting it to the web so that everybody can access your intelligence. So we port them through, to the web using Flask uh, and using you know HTML templates. It's very easy to do. It's just a little extra step after you finished, after you found something interesting in your Jupyter Notebook and you want to share it with the world. So definitely, uh, the, you have the web ma uh, webmakers track is a good one for that, the entrepreneur track or machine learning track. Also, um, if you go, let me go back to the front page here. Um, I also have a lot of free classes on Udemy if you're interested. Um, uh, where are you? Right here. So I have a whole bunch of these free classes at Udemy. I recommend them. People like them. I'm usually getting some, some good reviews uh, and all sorts of interesting things about looking at data and learning. So this is a time to kind of spend your time wisely, learn as much because, you know, hopefully uh, once they let us out again, um, you know, that time we won't have as much time and you're going to regret if you didn't, you know, make the best of your time, right? We have to make the best of what we have right now. It's extra time. Thanks for watching.